The majority of us could be uh, dealing with a very quiet evening. I think maybe just a cell or two could pop off with a little bit of rain and uh, brief lightning. We've seen that up towards our northwest, but for the most part, we should be fine this evening. Going into tomorrow, though, we're going to see those clouds thicken up, uh, waking up with mostly cloudy conditions and maybe a sprinkle or two here and there, but Things could get a little bit more active as we go into Friday evening. Generally uh, around sundown, maybe a little bit before, we could be seeing a line of thunderstorms light up out to our west. A lot of models aren't even picking this up, which is interesting because I think they should. There, there should be some agreement here that we could be getting some thunderstorms into our western counties right around uh, sundown or just a little bit before and then working to the east after the sun goes down. Now, those could initially be severe with maybe some strong winds and hail, and then that line will weaken as it gets towards I-35 Friday night. I think what's more certain, though, is that we're going to be dealing with rounds of rain coming through early Saturday morning. Some pockets of heavy rain here before the sun even comes up. That'll be working its way in from the southwest. We're going to deal with more of that as we go into Saturday evening. Now, these model runs don't look quite as wet as what we were looking at earlier. This doesn't look like widespread rain, but I still think there will be periods throughout Saturday where many of us will be looking at some rain potential there. So even if it doesn't come all at once, we could still be looking at Saturday and then Sunday as well with some decent rain. It could all add up to an inch to two inches for many of us and maybe closing in on those three plus inch amounts farther down to our southwest uh, for the hill country. So lows tonight, we're going to be looking at 71 to 72 degrees. It will be quite mild and then 87 roughly your high temperature for Colleen Temple and Waco tomorrow. And yes, it's still going to be on the muggy side. We're going to watch again the rain potential for Saturday through Sunday because it could add up to something that will at least be pretty decent here. Flooding issues may be a little bit more prevalent down to our southwest and then we're going to stay in the 70s to open up next week and some rain chances still sprinkled in there, but probably drying out by the end of next week as we stay in the 70s.